The BBC has revealed that two West African nations are evacuating their citizens from Tunisia in response to President Kai Said's incendiary comments last week. The president claimed migration was a conspiracy to alter the country's demographic makeup and accused traders working for foreign countries of being behind it. In response to this, officials have announced that Guinea and Ivory Coast will be bringing back hundreds of their nationals from Tunisia. According to Ivorian government spokesman Amadou Koulibaly on announcing the launch of repatriation efforts, the most urgent thing is to save lives, to prevent injuries. Welcome, this is Rain Smith and you're watching the new Africa channel. According to Koulibaly, Air Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast national carrier, has been assigned to assist in repatriating around 500 of its citizens. The process could be completed in the next 72 hours. In addition, a foreign ministry representative from Guinea has stated that the authorities have leased an airplane to bring back approximately 50 Guineans in Tunisia who have expressed their desire to return home. The president's office has also released a statement stating that Foreign Minister Morissan de Kouyaté will travel to Tunisia on a government plane to offer urgent assistance to Guineans there. Following the president's remarks, social media has been flooded with reports of mob violence, with eyewitness accounts of crowds raiding migrant homes and forcefully evicting the residents. Moreover, numerous private transport companies have reportedly denied ticket sales to individuals who are presumed to be undocumented. Meanwhile, numerous civil society organizations are frantically seeking shelter for the displaced individuals, indicating the severe humanitarian crisis that has emerged as a result of these events. In spite of this, masses of individuals poured to the streets of Tunisia's capital on Saturday to denounce the president's anti-migrant crackdown. Demonstrators carried signs, some written in English, expressing their solidarity with migrants and reaffirming Tunisia's place within Africa. They loudly chanted, no fear, no terror, the street belongs to the people, making their stance clear. One of the primary reasons for this mistreatment is the deeply ingrained racism and anti-blackness that exists within many North African societies. This manifests in several ways, including employment discrimination, housing segregation, and unequal access to education and healthcare. Black individuals are often viewed as second-class citizens and are subject to daily microaggressions and acts of prejudice. The implications of Said's remarks are deeply troubling, particularly given the already challenging situation faced by black refugees and migrants across North Africa. Such comments only serve to fuel anti-black sentiment and perpetuate harmful stereotypes, putting vulnerable individuals at even greater risk. While it's true that discrimination against black individuals is prevalent in North Africa, it's important to acknowledge that this issue isn't one-sided. In fact, some individuals in sub-Saharan Africa do not recognize Arab Africans as true Africans, thus perpetuating harmful divisions on the continent. How should the issue of migration in North Africa be addressed? And is North Africa and sub-Saharan Africa too different to be united? Let us know in the comments. But as always, be sure to like both videos, comment, share, and subscribe to the new Africa channel for more exciting future videos.